you know what, though, just these quick numbers here saying a very strong set of results. We're looking at income of 20% to $4.6 billion. What is your take on the report card? Yeah, I think so. The report card looks uh, very nice indeed, and uh, I think it's the um, uh, progress on, for example, on some metrics, like for, for example, the net interest margin is coming 171 percent, while uh, the consensus is actually quite uh, reassuring. And as the market was expecting, and so there is a new share buyback speed announced, and uh, we'll see the details in terms of uh, the asset quality trend. But it seems relatively reassuring. So no bad surprise, which I think in this environment, when we have um, uh, it's almost daily the headline on a new um, but perhaps stimulus needed in China I think is quite reassuring for the broader investment community. So this a $1 billion share buyback that was announced today uh, definitely should be a good news to the shareholders. Apart from that, uh, net interest income, of course, a beneficial for many banks across the world as interest rates go up. Uh, but is the bank able to translate into profitability? How, uh, for Standard Chartered, how have they digested these rising interest rates? Yes, I mean this is the um, the crux of the matter because it seems as though they are upgrading the guidance for the for the full year. So that's I think also it, it signaled there is there was still a little bit of slack in terms. Of, but then as we seen as we seen yesterday with for example the likes of Barclays and before with Lloyd's probably we are nearing the the peak on net interest management. So now I guess that's so the the challenge for the standard charter management team and for the other say Western Hemisphere banks that so will be to uh, control costs and. If I think so cost maybe is the only snags in this set so because if they seem to be uh, slightly missing in terms of operating costs and I guess that so as the economy walk through this uh, um, what perhaps so is the last um, bout of inflation uh, spiral and so the, the management team needs to get in, um, say, uh, say keep costs under control and this I think it could be quite challenging. Felipe, Dan here. How is the bank managing money flows, particularly on the wealth management side? Yeah, I think I so, saw relatively well. I mean, they have a, a quite a, an opportune, uh, unique um, uh, setup. So, so, in the sense that so, there's one together with HSBC, one of the best uh, place banks. So, for this uh, international uh, trade finance, and of course. Uh, um, um they um yeah they also we know as uh, asia so look to um, towards the say the so called green revolution and the um, sustainable finance uh, progress and i think santa Charter is one of the best franchise so they can capitalize on those uh, as i would say medium term trends